My name is Nicholas Meredith, and I'll be reciting Titus chapter 2. But you must say the things that are consistent with sound teaching. Older men are to be level-headed, worthy of respect, sensible and sound in faith, love, and endurance. In the same way, older women are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers, not addicted to much wine. They are to teach what is good, so they may encourage the young women to love their husbands and to love their children, to be self-controlled, pure homemakers, kind and submissive to their husbands, so that God's message will not be slandered. In the same way, encourage the young men to be self-controlled in everything. Make yourself an example of good works with integrity and dignity in your teaching. Your message is to be sound beyond reproach so that the opponent will be ashamed, having nothing bad to say about us. Slaves are to be submissive to their masters in everything and to be well-pleasing, not talking back or stealing, but demonstrating utter faithfulness so they may adorn the teaching of God our Savior in everything. For the grace of God has appeared with salvation for all people, instructing us to deny godlessness and worldly lusts and to live in a sensible, righteous, and godly way in the present age, while we wait for the blessed hope and appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people for his own possession. Say these things and encourage and rebuke with all authority. Let no one disregard you. Now I'll be reciting Friends, Romans, Countrymen from Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ear. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault, and grievously hath Caesar answered it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man, so are they all, all honorable men, come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He hath brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor have cried, Caesar hath wept? Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that on the looper call, I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious. And sure, he is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke. I only speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment, thou art fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it come back to me. I will be, um, I have to mark around. I will be, okay, thank you. I will be filling in part of the periodic table of elements. I don't have time to do the whole thing, but I will be doing a section of it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll be filling it in with the, not the actual name, but the abbreviation. So first we have hydrogen, which is an H, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, ooh, I missed a square, 
Sodium is here. Magnesium. Um, aluminum. Silicone. Phosphorus. Sulfur. Chlorine. Argon. Potassium. Calcium. Scandium. Titanium. Vanadium. Chromium. Manganese. Iron, just F E, not I R. Uh, cobalt. Nickel. Copper. Zinc. Gallium. Germanium. Arsenic. Selenium. Bromine. Krypton. Rubidium. Strontium. Yttrium. Zirconium. Niobium. Molybdenum. Technetium. Ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, silver, cadmium, indium, tin, antimony, tellurium, this is sad, iodine, something's wrong. Anyway, it goes on for a while more. <laughs> and I did, yes, Tom. Would Superman die if I shot him with Krypton? <laughs> Actually, no, he would not. That is not a space okay. rock. Yes, Rob. Um, can you say this to the tune? Uh, can you sing this to the tune? Mm, okay. Uh, um, so, so, I did. In, <laughs> I did memorize all of the names for the periodic table <laughs> elements for chemistry class this year. It was on our final exam. We had to have them memorized, um, and so I thought I would trying to write up all their abbreviations for you guys. I did not get all the way through it, and my chart was a little off, but hopefully you learned something. Yes, Ms. Garner. Do you know how many times the chart has been added to? Many. I do not know exactly, no. But I know that... Um, What's the last one identified? The last one is Oganesson, and that is 1112, maybe. I think it's 1112. Yes. Um, right here and here, they actually had to um, bring it down because there were so many elements that fit into these two slots. And so on a periodic table, you have two rows down here, right. which these bring down. Right. What is the history of periodic? I mean, now that you bring so, it, yes. I remember it from chemistry class. I haven't thought about it for years. How did it start? What is the, the periodic table is the ultimate cheat sheet for chemistry. It, yes, Sylvia is taking chemistry in college, and she appreciates it, I'm sure. Um, it was developed by a bunch of scientists as a way to measure the mass and the um, number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in every different kind of atom. And that way you can better identify how many are in each molecule. You can better identify how many are in each solution, and then so on to like carpets and things, and you can better do your chemistry. Yes, Rob? Why is why aren't the squares all in one big line? Why are there why is there a spike on one side and, and another spike on the other side? So that has to do with the weight, the molar mass, um, and density of the atoms. And so they had to they did them like that. And that's why you can't just add on to the end and just keep going and then add more and add more. That's why they had to bring these two down. Because all of the elements that fit into these two slots um, had molar masses that were in between or molar masses, densities, and weights that were in between these two. Yes, T-Rex. Why is silver, silver labeled AS? AG. Because silver, gold, um, iron right here, FE, copper, CU, those are all called by their Latin names. That's what makes their abbreviation. Um, so the Latin name for, uh, I don't actually know any of the Latin names, but I know that that is why. Alright, that is all. What, Rob? Signals and two other This summer, I got to go to a national le youth leadership training with the scouting program, and I learned a lot about how to be a better Boy Scout leader and to lead my troop. I actually got elected senior patrol leader, which was really fun, and I've been doing that for the past semester. That term will end in June. Um, I also got to take a logic and habits course, you can put the poster up, Mom, with my grandfather this fall, and that was really uh, great for, you can put the poster up, Mom, it was really great for helping me become 
self-aware, building better habits, just working more to succeed in life. And I took, I attended a business conference in Phoenix, Arizona with dad. And I'll have the cameras not on me anymore. Maybe here. Okay. And all of these situations I was in, I enjoyed them immensely and I learned a lot about leadership. And my favorite thing that I learned about was SMART goals. So if you've never heard of a SMART goal, a SMART goal is a tool. It's a way to define what you want to do and how you're going to get there. And it's also an acronym. So the S stands for specific. You have to have a specific goal. Measurable, that's for N. Attainable, A. Relevant and timely. So I'm going to have, give you an example goal, and we're going to go through it, and then I'll explain some things that are not SMART. So a not SMART goal would be, not specific, would be, I want to work out more. That's not specific. We all want to work out more. We all want to get in better shape. Specific would be, I want to be able to lift 30 pounds in a bicep curl, which is this, by June 5th. That is specific. You know what you want to do and what, when, you, when you want it done. That's a specific goal, not a dumb goal. Measurable. This is how you're going to keep track of whether or not your goal is completed. You want to know when it's done. You want to know how you can measure progress. And you want to know uh, how much longer you have left. So you can measure, for instance, uh, an eating habit. If you want to eat less, you could measure your weight. For our example habit, you can measure how much you can lift. You can increase it by five every week. Do 20 reps with, the, with that weight every day, or five days a week, until you reach June 5th, increasing by five every week, and you'll get to your goal. Measurable. <coughs> attainable. You can reach this goal. That is what attainable means. Essentially, you have to know this is within my grasp. Something like founding a business. That's not within everyone's grasp. Earning a PhD. Not everyone can do that. You have to know what you're able to accomplish and use your time wisely. Attainable is something that working out, most people can work out, you, so you'll gloss over it. But for something like starting a business, you really need to focus in on this step because you need to know whether or not you can really do this. You can get it done. Relevant. So relevant is um, one, the, uh, one that I think is very important for a SMART goal. And it pertains to your life's vision. Everyone has something that they want to do in life, whether it be be a better parent, sibling, um, love God more, whatever it is, you have a vision. And relevant is a way to see if your SMART goal pertains to your vision. Is working out going to help you be a better father, be a better sibling? Is it going to help you love God more? And I think yes, because working out is going to keep you mentally awake. It's going to help you be physically strong. It's going to make you more energetic and focused for your devotions and all the different things that you do throughout your week. Relevant. Timely is the last one. And this is you holding yourself accountable. You set a deadline, June 5th. You set it in the specific part. You have your deadline. You have your increments, measurable. Increase it by five every week. Okay, and so we have our two deadlines. Each week, add five pounds to how much you lift and finish by June 5th. So there we go. That is a SMART goal, and that's an example goal of working out. Any questions? Yes, Sam. Can a SMART goal be something dumb? So <laughs> could, you, could you, like, make a SMART goal of eating more cake? Even okay. Like well, the decision. question is, is it going to be relevant to your life's mission? Is eating more cake going to help you gain focus? and be more well, <coughs> mentally awake. No, it is not. It is going to be detriment to your life's well, vision. This. So no, it is not a smart goal. What, yes. what if your life's mission is to be the fattest person on earth? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Your life's vision is to gain 20 pounds by the end of the year. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Those are used in healthcare. For one thing, it yes, won't be used smart to drive a kitty, so. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Are the goals actually smart? What? Like, are the goals actually smart? Smart is an acronym, Sam. And smart is something that you use to describe a human or an animal. It's not something that you use to describe, like, a piece of paper with words on it. Okay. You could say that it was intelligently written, but no, it is not smart in the sense of the adjective. 
Yes, Dad. Do you have any smart goals? Any right now that I have? I do. I would like to become fluent in French. Uh, well, semi-fluent in French. My goal is to finish that by next summer. Um, I can reach this, and I'm taking French one this year. I'm finishing that up right now, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, that is one of my smart goals right now. Sam. What, what can you say in French? Or what are some of the things you can say? See ya. This is not a conversation, the um, presentation on French, so I'm not going to. Say that. Embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're done. We're done. Right. 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 Right.